Hi everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to answer a questions about how to change floating button style like call to actions button with text inside. The question is coming from WordPress support forum and here's the questions. Hi there, is it possible to change the button style like call to actions button with text inside? And thanks. All right, so in this video, we are gonna be um, discussing about the multiple different options that you can apply into a floating awesome button which is uh, the first one is uh, always dips always display option the second uh, and secondly will be font color thirdly will be shapes and the fourth will be standalone we're going to be discussing all of these uh, options in this video so you can actually create a uh, style the button as you like and create a floating call to actions button with floating awesome button all right so to give you a little bit of a context here is that uh, in this video, we're going to be using a plugin called a floating awesome button. Okay, so for those who doesn't know about floating awesome button plugin yet, well, basically, uh, floating awesome button is a WordPress plugin that can help you to add quick link, a social media link, displaying custom pop up. It also got a couple of nice cool features like 25 plus animation, custom pop up with custom navigations. It also got a 10 plus shapes actions button that you can pick from. All right, so I think that's it for the intro and now let's jump in into the tutorial then. Okay, so firstly, you need to make sure that you have installed Floating Awesome Button plugin. You can find it from a WordPress plugin directory or you can find a link in the descriptions below where you can download it and install it into your website. So after you download and install the plugin, then to create a floating call to actions button, then you can, you need to go to FAB and then click add new. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to be creating a simple call to actions button. So I'm just going to give it a name as the call to actions button, just like that. And then for the icon, I'm going to change it to fire. And for the color, I'm going to change it to red, just like that. Because we are creating a call to actions button uh, uh, for floating call to actions button then we will need to change uh, the setting type for the actions button to the link okay so I'm just gonna give google.com because this is, this is just uh, a simple tutorial okay just like that and then hit publish to publish the actions button now uh, when we navigate to our website Okay, refresh the page. You can see that uh, floating call to actions button or floating actions button has been added. You can see it. If you hover over it now with the latest versions of the plugin, it will add a text inside of the actions button. Okay, but if you want to create a call to actions button with a floating awesome button, then you might be want to enable an option called always display because you don't want to uh, you don't want the text to be hidden right you want the text to be uh, showing right to do that just go again uh, to the meta uh, to a design options design sections options right here and then you can see there's a tooltip right here uh, and also there's an option called always display okay just enable it and then hit update again and now when you refresh the page again you can see that call to actions button or floating call to actions button has been added okay all right so that's uh, how easy it is to actually create a simple floating call to actions button with a floating awesome button okay and for you can also change its phone color so I'm just going to change the icon color to black and also the tooltip label color to black also. Update it, refresh, and voila, it also changed its colors. Right? Okay, uh, not only that, you can also change it into a simple and into another shapes. Okay, so for example, I want to change it to different shape okay so uh, okay so firstly you need to go to setting floating awesome button and you can see there's a, a template options right here first you need to change it to shape and then you need to uh, pick whatever the shape that you want so for now i'm just going to use rumbush hit save and now when i refresh the page again and voila 
it changed its shape okay it's uh, it's still stating a call to actions uh, but it changed its shapes to a run bush um, I'm not a huge fan of creating a call to actions button with uh, shapes but uh, if you want you can actually do that but uh, uh, I'm just showing you guys uh, how is it done okay uh, my favorite one is to actually using just a simple classic uh, options if you want to uh, you know create a call to actions button with floating awesome button okay so I'm just gonna refer it back to um, um, classic template okay classic teams all right, so now I am also wanted to show you sometimes uh, you might be uh, adding a lot more uh, actions buttons, right? So for example, we are creating another um, call to actions button. So for example, I'm just going to create call to actions button number two. Okay, it will be have uh, it will be have a circle icon and it's going to be using blue c color just like this one okay and yes again a link so yeah what about google again excuse me google.com just like that okay now hit publish again publish okay now when we refresh the page it will actually group uh, the actions buttons all together just like that right um, well sometimes we don't want to group uh, all of these buttons together right what we wanted to do is that we want to put the call to actions button at the very bottom and let others button to be grouped okay to do that is very simply you need firstly you need to select uh, which uh, uh, actions button that you want to make it uh, as uh, separately uh, in the um, from the rest of the group so for um, in this example I'm going to select the call to actions and then I'm going to select a standalone buttons right here standalone options right here to be enabled okay just like that all right so uh, this will actually create uh, separates this call to actions button from the rest of the group i'm going to show it to you now okay i'm going to hit update okay i'm just going to refresh the page again and voila you can see it right here is that the call to actions button now uh, separates from the group it will it, uh, it is basically looking like this is because um it is because there's only one uh, actions button but if we create another one okay so for example I'm just going to create another one so for example call to actions tree just like that uh, no standalone square for example okay I'm just gonna be changing its color to maybe green okay just like that okay again link uh, Google's again okay publish publish okay again now when we refresh the page again we'll actually group but let's the call to actions button to be available uh, f uh, uh, and separate from the rest of the group you can see it right here is that there's a call to actions number two and call to actions number three is uh, also available okay pretty cool right uh, that's uh, basically how easy it is to um, set up um, actions button or a call to actions button with floating awesome button okay so um, if you have any trouble or issue when you are uh, setting this plugin or um, um, setting up the call to actions button just let me in the comment sections below and I'll be glad to help you out that's it for the video and thanks for watching. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and join our community at community.artistudioxyz. Also, if you have any trouble, issues, and needs to create a custom WordPress plugin that can help your business to excel and perform, check out our WordPress development agencies at artistudioxyz. We offer affordable daily and monthly development service that fits your business needs. Great. See you in the next video.